Hello everyone, um, I am Dibino, and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to install custom HUDs um, through Lua. So there's a couple different places where you can install these from, or download I should say. Uh, here on the DevRaw website, there's currently only one fully completed HUD um, available, and it's from Magaz. Um, however, another great resource for HUDs is from Kingslayer Kyle. Um, all the links will be in the description, by the way. And here on Kyle's Google site, uh, he has five different HUDs available. There's a Black Ops 2, Infinite Warfare, World War 2, Black Ops 4, and the CSGO HUD. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to do the Black Ops 2 HUD. I already have it installed and downloaded. However, go and download that. Uh, and then, if I go into my downloads, I will show you what the zip should look like. So there should be three different folders. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to your map folder. You want to go into this folder right here. Copy all that. Drag. I'm just going to replace everything. Uh, and then you want to go to your root. So you just click on Black Ops 3. Then you want to take these two. Oh, take those two, plop them in there. And then, before you can use anything Lua, there is one prerequisite. Uh, you're going to want to download Leak Mod, which I will have in the description as well. Um, you're going to want to make sure you close out any Black Ops 3 mod tool application, including the launcher. You want to go into your bin folder. You want to drag this DLL into the bin folder, and then from there, Lua should be able to work just fine. Then you want to go back into your map folder, scripts, ZM. You want to open up your GSC and CSC, and then right under here, underneath stamina up, you're going to want to add this line here, which will be in the README for whatever HUD you're installing. Um, the instructions may be a little bit different, but overall it's the same process. And you're going to put that in both GSC and CSC. And make sure you save those. And then, is what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go into your zone folder. And then, for the Black Ops 2 HUD, uh, this is all I had to add in here. Sometimes you'll have to put a lot more in your zone folder, but Kyle made it very easy. All you have to do is add this include, which will also be in the readme. Um, and then from there, everything's all good to go. You know, you just compile, light, link, and run. Um, and then as soon as that's done, I will be right back. Yep. And as soon as this loads up, you should see the Black Ops 2 HUD fully functional in Black Ops 3. <clears throat> well, once it loads. <laughs> Even the pause menu is the same as well. All the fonts are here. Um, I'm just going to go here and turn on my FOV. Grenade uh, icons. Icon down in the center for insta kill. I'll even show you the perks working. Mm -hmm. Just like that, you have custom HUD and custom icons. 
just like just all good to go. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, that's fine. Um, if you have any recommendations, suggestions, questions, thoughts, concerns on this video or future videos, please leave them below in the comments. And if there's anything you want to see as well, leave them down there. And I will try to respond to as many people as I can. Happy modding.